Good morning, friends, and welcome to Toddler Time Online Edition. My name is Ms. Emma. I'm the Youth Services Manager at the Morton Public Library, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I'm at home, and you're at home, so let's go ahead and have story time. Here we go. Let's get our music going. In the great state, state of Ohio, Ohio, from Cincinnati to Toledo, they never simply say hello. They sing, oh, hey, oh, hi, hello, oh, hey, oh, hi, hello. in a great big crowd they sing together very loud oh hey oh hi hello oh hey oh hi hello oh hey oh hi oh hey oh hi hello they're sad and teary eyed they sing it even as they cry pretend to cry oh hey
as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nicely as we can. Hello, friends. Hello. My name's Miss Emma, and I'm so glad you're here at story time with me today. Friends, in June, we are going to be having stories about our feelings and emotions. Because I don't know about you, but I think there have been a lot of big feelings happening recently. And the best way, grown-ups, to help kids talk about their emotions is to model talking about your emotions. So first of all, I feel sad because I didn't get to go on a trip that I thought I might get to go on. But I was able to help make myself feel happier by going and taking a walk with my husband and my dog. So let's go ahead and sing a song all about emotions that I bet you know at least the first verse too. We're going to sing if you're happy and you know it. There's my happy face. How can you tell it's a happy face? It has a smile and the eyes and eyebrows look happy. All right, let's go ahead and sing if you're happy and you know it and clap your hands. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. This is our second face. Can you tell what emotion this face is showing? Can you try to make it yourself with the eyebrows going down? and the mouth going down. Hmm. Looks like an angry face to me. What's something you might do if you're angry? Sometimes if I'm angry, it feels good to stomp my feet. Ready? If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. This is our next feeling face. What emotion is this face showing? Can you try to make it with your face with the downturned mouth and concerned eyebrows? It looks like a sad face to me. If you are sad, you might cry. So this time, if we're sad and we know it, let's wipe our tears. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your tears. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your tears. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your tears. This is our last Feeling space. This one's kind of emotion it is. But our eyebrows are way up high and our mouth is open and not so sure. It's a scared face. If we're scared and we know it, we might cover our eyes. Can you do it with me? If you're scared and you know it, cover your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, cover your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, cover your eyes. Great job. Let's finish up by singing happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for our book by making our hands into fists and rolling those arms for roly poly. Are you ready? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, 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 clap. Clap, clap. Roly poly, roly poly, lay them in your lap. Today our books are about being worried. Worried is a feeling, but it's not a very fun feeling, is it? Our first 
book will talk about what worrying feels like and when you might feel worried. It's called The Don't Worry Book, written and illustrated by Todd Parr. Grown-ups, Todd Parr has a lot of good books for little ones about feelings and things they experience that are sometimes hard. Sometimes you worry, kind of hiding under the covers at night. Worrying happens when you think too much about a problem or feel afraid that something bad is going to happen. You might worry when you meet someone for the first time person is worried and, <gasps> and even though the bat is smiling and saying hello upside down. When it's mean, when it's dark, when you are trying to sleep, counting sheep, one, two, three, or when you go to the bathroom. When you go somewhere new, when you are alone. I think that face is a good face for showing how worried can look on a person's face. Just kind of not much of anything, but there's a lot going on inside. Or when you have too much to do, they're juggling so many balls. You might worry when it rains. When you get sick or have to go to the doctor. When watching TV. Or from looking at screens too much. You might worry when someone is being loud. This dog going woof, woof, bark, bark, When you go to school or when you overhear some bad news. Or if you're sad. When you worry, try doing something to keep yourself busy, like talking with someone special. Taking deep breaths. Can you take a deep breath with me in? And out. Visiting friends. Talking to friends can help with worry. Wearing underwear on your head. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. <laughs> Reading a book. Dancing. Yoga. And the animals are doing yoga. And this dog looks like my dog, Penny. It would be very silly if Penny was doing yoga. Squeezing a toy. This one goes squeak, squeak. Or thinking about all the things that make you strong. And remembering everyone who loves and takes care of you. You have so many friends who love you and take care of you. Worrying doesn't help you. If you are worried, talk to someone you love about it. It will make you feel better. The end. Love, Tom. That's the author. The end. You guys are great listeners. We're now going to read a little bit of a longer book about a character who worries. And the book is called Wemberly Worried by Kevin Hanks. That's Wemberly. She looks worried, doesn't she? Wemberly worried about everything. It's okay to be worried sometimes, but worrying about everything, that's not very fun. Big things and little things and things in between. Here's Wemberly saying, I wanted to make sure you were still here to her parents in the middle of the night. And then 
she's worrying because she dropped her bunny. And in the bathtub, she says, Mama, what if I shrink? Don't worry, friend. You're not going to shrink. Wemberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. And she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wemberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wemberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. Friends, her worrying is stopping her from playing at the playground. That's why worrying is not such a good thing. And always, always she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? What if Petal lost her? I found her, sweetie. I'll wait for you, Petal. Can you see Petal in the washing machine? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. And Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wemberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wemberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wemberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wemberly had a new worry, school. Wemberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. And her dad saying, I love school. By the time the first day arrived, Wemberly had a long list of worries all these worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snap? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wemberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wemberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wemberly, I think there is someone you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. Just like Wemberly. At first, Wemberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wemberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wemberly. I rub her nose, 
said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wemberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wemberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wemberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow's, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wemberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said, don't worry. The end. Great job, friends. You're good listeners. We're going to do a wiggle song, a new wiggle song, to help move our bodies after our stories. And these movements that we make are also really good to help yourself if you're feeling a lot of emotions and calm yourself down. So maybe if you're feeling a lot of worry, these would be good movements to do. We're gonna make ourselves into a big C star. So we're gonna put our arms out and stretch and put your legs out and stretch and make yourself a big C star. Great. And now you're going to make yourself a little cuddle. Put your hands on your shoulders and squeeze. Great job. And the last one is to be a puffer fish. Make yourself a puffer fish. Go ahead and puff out your cheeks with breath. And let it out. Right. Let's go ahead and sing those and you can make the motions along with me. A big sea star, a big sea star, a little cuddle clam and a big sea star, a big sea star, a big sea star, a little cuddle clam and a big sea star, a puffer fish. for you. Are you ready? And here's some bubbles for me. Oh, so much fun. Goodbye. See you next week. <laughs>